of continuum in developing our country. As I say, what age we need, we know what to continue. We know what to continue. And I will round up by giving you another piece of rock. Please repeat after. Forward then to independence. Independence now. Tomorrow, the United States of America.
Enterprise Pan-Africanism. Okay. Africans from the West Indies, African born here in the U.S., African born in the Caribbean, African born in Britain, African born in Af Africa. We said from 1900 up to 1945, Africans struggled to build Pan-Africanism. We said that Pan-Africanism was first put in world dictionaries in 1900, the turn of the centuries. We said that all of the pan africans Congress was held, the most significant was the 5th pan africans Congress. We said that this pan african Congress made such a great discipline and a different aspiration of Africans because of the ones who attended African Liberation Day. We said that the workers attended African Liberation Day, students attended African Liberation Day, trade unionists attended African Liberation Day. We said that every segment of our people attended African Liberation Day in 1945. And today we see that this pan african struggle is continuing and will continue to continue through the struggle of African people. First of all, we want to try to come to deal with this question of ideology. We said if one don't understand the identity as an African and don't see that Africa should be the most important thing in one life, then they have a foreign ideology. We want to make our party line clear. We want to make our party objectives clear. We want the masses of you here to go out into your neighborhoods, into the communities, whether it's internal or external. That is the same thing in the U.S. or there in Africa or the Caribbean or wherever. We want to say that ideology is the most important thing to a people. We say ideology must be the weapon of the oppressed masses of our people. Right. We said without ideology, then we are in a state of confusion. We said that ideology must be a concept of analyzing African history. We said that this ideology must be a concept that brings forth a guideline to analyze African history. That we should rely upon African history and analyze it. African history. We have heard many things here said today. Some of the things you might hear me repeat as an echo, and some of the things you hear I say today will be new. But we want sure to deal with this question of ideology. We said that the capitalist system, who have continued to brainwash our people for over 500 years, a child slavery, an economic slavery, and our people still are confused about who are the enemy of our people. We said because our people lack political education. We said political education will enhance the ecological aspiration of our people from a national class perspective. We said that ideology must be the foremost important thing to a revolutionary who come to make war, who come to destroy the enemy of the African masses, in particular, and the enemies of the world in general. We say that ideology asks our people to read about ourselves. We said if one don't understand the ideology of Africa, then one is expressing somebody else's ideology. We're saying that ideology must be the concept that Africa is our homeland. The ideology says that Africa is the only just claimed land that we as an African can lay just claim to. Right. We say ideology teaches you who you are and the contribution that we have made as Africans throughout the history of Africa. And as Malcolm said, you show me one of these, 
Who hate Africa. I'll show you one who knows nothing about Africa. Because when you see Africans, brothers and sisters, saying that they are not African, Africans, because they have no understanding of Africa, great civilization, and what it has gained to world civilization. So we said, we need to read more. We need to see political education as the modern weapon of all revolutionaries today. And we said ideology plays the formal importance of this struggle towards liberation, unification in Africa under scientific socialism. We say that ideology must coexist with the identity and the culture of the people. Because if your ideology is not in line with your identity and with your culture, then you have a foreign ideology. So one of the things that we certainly need to do is discuss Africa. We say that we have been struggling a long time over the question of Africa. You are African. Africa is our homeland. Africa, we need to fight for. Africa, we need to liberate. So we say that Africa must be one of the most, one, must be one of the foremost important things to us in educating our people about Africa. We have to look at our history as a people and analyze it. We must look at the collective struggle of our people. The collective struggle of our people versus the individual struggle of our people. We say individual effort is good. But collective struggle is the best struggle. Right. So we said organization shows itself as a collective struggle. Okay. We show we said that the pan-Africanism and the pan-Africanism throughout the world must come to show themselves as a collective struggle, as a collective front, struggling to liberate and free Africa and African people scout throughout the world. <laughs> We want to come to also deal with this question of organization versus mobilization. Right. We say organization is long range. Mobilization is short range. We look at the movements in the 60s, and we say that those organizations was mo those uh, movements were mobilization. They was not organization, they were mobilization. We said mobilization is all to bring for reform movements. Reform today and be back in the same situation tomorrow. Whereas organization is permanent and must be made permanent in our everyday life to understand that the collective is more important than the individual. That the whole is more important than the part. And we said that organization must be something permanent as our party always stresses, join some organization working for the masses of the people. Because just to say I'm African, just to know I came from Africa, do not mean that I understand the proper responsibility that I have to Africa and other Africans. And this is the fundamental difference between those who know they're Africans from the continent of Africa, but don't want to give up any work. Don't want to give up any struggle for Africa and Africans. Right. So we said organization must be primary in our lives. Kwame Nkrumah says, without organization, we cannot do anything. Since the race says to start a process and to stop it soon afterwards, it's dangerous. Right. It's rather not to start the process. So we said that organization must be the primary focus in our life as African people. This focus must be work. This focus must be work. We said we don't have to ask your brother over that if he's a member of the nation of Islam. Or uh, he's a Muslim. We can tell that by his work. We don't have to ask your brother who was at the symposium last night if he's a Christian. We can see that by his work. Right. One can come to say, I'm a revolutionary. I'm
looking at our coalition and our brothers and sisters organizations. We want to look at our alliances that we're in line with that give support to who is strong against the same capitalist, imperialist, Zionist, racist, apartheid regime in other parts of the world. As Picasso said, that you can turn on your television set today and see the Zionist, Israel movement of Zionism to destroy the Palestinian people. We see the youth of the Palestinians in the street fighting these Zionist dogs with bricks and balls. Yeah. And our youth here don't understand that they're Africans and we want the capitalist system, the educational system of America to educate our people about ourselves. These are the same dogs who came to keep our history from us. Yeah. So we want to look at the struggle of the Palestinian people who are struggling to regain their homeland, who understand that Palestine is their homeland. Right. And they can show just claim, historical just claim to this homeland of Palestine. I'm glad Brother Mohammed said that Judaism and Zionism is totally different. We know that Africa and Egypt brought forth Judaism into the world. That anybody can be a Jew, just go join a synagogue. We say that Zionism was a movement created for Europeans to have a South Colonial territory in Palestine. Given to them by the United Nations in 1948. you 
humanity of the world. Yeah. 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 This humanity must come to show itself as true democracy. As true democracy. Not sham democracy. Not bourgeois democracy, but true democracy. We said before one can come through and analyze something, then it must be two sides of it. We know that this capitalist system of America has never taught us nothing about ourselves. Never, and never will. So we said, in true democracy, one must come to understand both sides of it, of both sides of it, in order for one to be able to make a critical and correct analysis of the situation that we find ourselves in today. They say I have to go, but double more points I surely have to make. I hope y'all will stay with us. I don't know the same time that we have to be at the park or not be at the park. If you we just have to get put out here in, 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 in the land. We want to say that our organization is a socialist organization. We believe in scientific socialism. We believe that all of Africa and its resources belong to all Africans throughout the world. We said that the Africans must come to see their self as an intimate part and build a socialism in Africa. We said socialism has never failed the people, the people have always come to fail socialism. We said our people know more, less about socialism, less about socialism. And the less you know about something, the less you can come to criticize it, analyze it, and put it in the proper perspective. So we said, please read more about socialism. Find out more about socialism. Find out more about true democracy versus sham democracy. We want to also deal with what is the APRP. We must deal with this. We say that all African People's Revolutionary Party is a mass, independent, socialist, revolutionary, political party. Mass, because we say it takes a masses of our people to come to liberate Africans and Africans throughout the world. We say that we are an independent party because we will not accept no money or any influence or no help from those who are against our people who come to dictate what we are to say or not to say in line with the struggle of our people. We say we must be independent. We say we must be a socialist because all of Africa belongs to our Africa and all the resources inside of Africa belong to all Africa and must be used and benefit by all Africans. We say that we are a revolutionary party. Revolution is based on land. A land one can come and lay just claim to. Not land that one have been in circulating for 500 years, 600 years, 1,000 years to lay just claim to. Because history will come and eat you up. So we say revolution is based upon land. The land less against the land law. So we say we must come to liberate Africa. And we can do it through non-violence, no problem. If we have to throw hanging names, no problem. We said we are a political party. Say so our party must be a political party. And Kuma teaches us first seek down political kingdom. And we don't control our political life, then we don't control our economic, our culture, our social, our religious life. It's impossible. So we said first, let's get political mature. Let's come political educated. Let's understand the system for having a political mad revolutionary socialist party. We like to also say in closing, our organization, our organizing, works to the circles. Our organization at this time concentrate on the college campus. But we like to say that our party is an all African people revolutionary party. And that we ask you to come and join our organization. And if you will not join our organization, join the Nation of Islam. Join the New African People Organization. Join some organization that is struggling and working for the masses of African people. We would like to thank you for coming to the 37th, 37th, 37th anniversary of African Liberation.
Resurrection Day. We would like to say whatever you heard from the speakers today, will you take it back and share it with those who are not able to come? And we always said, forward with the revolution. Thank you. Forward with the revolution.